I would like to start by thanking our sponsors, American University School of Public Affairs and the Kennedy Political Union. This is the second installment of our Newsmaker series focused on bipartisanship. We are delighted to welcome three lawmakers this morning who are actively reaching across the aisle to explore bipartisan solutions to some of the country's most pressing issues. Before we begin, a few housekeeping notes. In addition to our audience here at the museum, we're live streaming on thehill.com slash events. Please keep your phones on silent, but we do encourage you to engage in the discussion on social media. You can follow us on Twitter at The Hill Events and comment using the hashtag The Hill uh, Newsmaker. We are going to be taking questions from the audience during the program, so please be on the lookout for members of our team with handheld mics. Finally, there is a short feedback survey on your chairs. We would love to hear from you about our events, uh, and I would encourage you to complete the survey at the end of today's program. Before we begin, uh, I would like to introduce our sponsor for brief remarks. Bef uh, please join me in welcoming on stage Vicki Wilkins, Dean of American University's School of Public Affairs. Vicki, the floor is yours. Thank you, Diana. I'm so happy to be here with you this morning and so glad that we could do it without snow this time. Um, on behalf of American University School of Public Affairs and the Kennedy Political Union, we thank our esteemed guests this morning, Senator Alexander, Representatives Barragon, and Hoyer for being with us. And of course, we thank our moderator, Bob Cusack, for the, the great work he'll do this morning in leading this conversation. And most of all, we thank our partnership with The Hill and The Hill Latino. We've had just a wonderful time working with their team and look forward to future events with them. In today's environment, we often focus on the negative sides of bipartisanship. We often think about the lack of bipartisanship out there. But today's event will give us a chance to even now in this time, in this political climate, to focus on the good that's being done. We have two great examples just from the last couple of weeks. We have a bipartisan bill out of the Senate Health Committee on the opioid crisis, and we all know today, if we were watching the news this morning and a certain person testifying, that there's a bipartisan bill on honest ads that's out, uh, hopefully keeping uh, us all safe when we're on the internet. We at the School of Public Affairs really hope to look for the good in bipartisanship and to recognize what's being done out there to build it. In that case, to that end, we are pleased to be partnering with former Congress member Davis Gags of Colorado on a new prize, the Madison Prize. David's generous gift made it possible for us to recognize um, two members from each biennial Congress who can be uh, examples of bipartisanship. You'll soon see a call for nominations in the summer or the early fall, and the inaugural award will be given in the early part of 2019. Stay tuned for more news on that in the summer, and again, thank you for joining us today and allowing us to partner in this great event. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. Uh, 